Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead and still got a couple more days of at least a chance for some scattered showers and thunder showers across the area. It does appear as if the heaviest rain is behind us as rainfall totals uh, not too extreme here for the next 48 hours. Here's a look at the weather pattern and you can see that we still have the uh, troughiness here, this weakness in the uh, upper levels of the atmosphere and big complex of storms uh, off the Texas coast has produced the flooding over South Texas. This is also greatly limited the amount of rainfall that we've experienced today across our region and uh, we'll probably continue to see uh, the rain remain rather scattered in nature as we go through the next couple of days. Now we do still have a flash flood watch that is in effect for all of the Arcotex here as you can see here uh, into tomorrow morning uh, but again it looks like uh, really the main concern for flooding will be in the areas where we have seen the heaviest rainfall. A quick look at the uh, total rainfall as estimated by uh, pinpoint Doppler and you can see that uh, totals have been heaviest over the northern sections of the area as well as the extreme southern sections of the Oracle Tech. So Northeast Texas, Southwest Arkansas, McCurtain County and especially the southern sections of the area worth watching. In between amounts have basically been around an inch to two inches so far since this has begun and we are looking at uh, again rainfall totals remaining rather limited. Let me show you uh, Robin's Toyota Futurecast as we move forward and you can see a, a scattered shower will be possible as we go through the rest of this Wednesday. Uh, that activity should remain relatively scattered with uh, a little bit more widespread rains over the southern sections of the area as we go through Thursday, again, mostly cloudy. A few scattered showers and thunder showers will be possible, but again, uh, any heavy rain should be somewhat isolated in nature. Going through Thursday night, we'll see that rain decrease. And then Friday, a few more scattered thunderstorms possible, especially across the southwest half of the area. What you're seeing here is the impact of upper level high pressure, which is building in from the northeast. That's gradually going to nudge the rainfall chances back to the southwest as we close through Friday and Friday night and Saturday. And by the weekend, we should be looking at uh, drier conditions for all of the Arcotex the way it looks right now. As far as rainfall potential, Here's a, a broader view of uh, Futurecast. Uh, generally speaking, I would anticipate maybe an inch, inch and a half over the uh, southern sections of the area. And keep in mind, it's that's not going to happen everywhere across East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. Some folks may see less. Some folks may see uh, two plus inches. Uh, amounts should be somewhat lighter the way it looks right now over the northern half of the area. But we could have a few isolated spots that pick up an inch to an inch and a half. So it does appear as if the heaviest rains will be confined to the southern sections of the area. So we'll have to watch, again, parts of Shelby. Uh, Sabine and Natchitoches parishes here, Shelby County, uh, for the uh, potential for some flash flooding. And that, that is where the risk will be highest. But again, any flash flooding should be somewhat isolated to scattered in nature. We're not looking at a major widespread flash flooding event with rainfall totals of this magnitude that, that are expected at the present time. Now, longer range, what's going to happen is that we will see that upper level ridge that I mentioned. Here it is over the eastern sections of the country. You can see it expanding down to the the southwest right over the Oracle Tex and it will shut off the rain Saturday and it will hang around and keep us dry through most of next week by the time we get to the end of next week that ridge will weaken and retreat to the east and that's going to allow these disturbances that come off the Pacific to take more of a southerly course and begin to give us a shot for some rain Probably Thursday will be our first chance, and that chance could linger into the Memorial Day holiday weekend and uh, may come to an end Saturday, although the jury is still out on that. So it uh, looks like several days of dry weather on the way once we get past Friday. So here's a look at your seven-day forecast, and you can see that we'll see that chance for the scattered shower thunderstorm tomorrow, mainly over the southwest half of the area for Friday, and then the streak of dry weather returns from Saturday through Wednesday, looking pretty much dry. And when we dry out, we will warm up. Daytime highs returning to the upper 80s. Overnight lows will basically be in the 60s. We could see those lows warm into the upper 60s to low 70s by the end of next week. So again, we do still have the flash flood watch in effect, but rainfall totals, generally speaking, will not be as heavy as we've seen earlier in the week. And as of right now, it looks like the heaviest rain will fall over the southern sections of the area.